And we're back. If you're a Jonas Brothers fan, you might recognize our next guest. She starred alongside her famous brother-in-law, Kevin Jonas, and her sister, Danny, in the E! reality show, Married to Jonas. Her culinary talents and delicious recipes are helping her make a name for herself. Please welcome the Dish It Girl, Dina Delisa Gonzar. Welcome. Hey. Thank you Hi, so Dina. much. Thanks for being here. So exciting to be here. Thank oh, you for having yeah. me. It's our honor. This pleasure. looks Please. delicious. <laughs> I know, right? It looks great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what do we have here? Okay, so what we're going to do today mm -hmm. is we're going to talk about chicken. Exciting. Chicken. I love <laughs> Classic. Chicken. We love exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> it's a family friendly mm -hmm. weeknight meal. So we right. have three different preparations. Okay. The first preparation we have here is mm -hmm. a marinated chicken that's marinated in lime, red wine, some salt, and pepper. Okay. Very, simple. Very simple. You want to marinate that for, give it at least an hour, but if you're lucky enough to have overnight, mm -hmm. go, for it. go for it. And you're going to grill that so you get some good grill marks like we see here. Mm -hmm. The second chicken is a balsamic marinated Ooh, chicken. I love and balsamic. I, love it, I know. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's got so a special great. place yeah. in my heart. I know, I love it. Put it on everything. And glaze on top. <laughs> right? Oh, so <laughs> With this marinade, what you're going to use is mm -hmm. you're going to mince up some garlic, add some soy sauce, garlic, yes. some honey, yes. <laughs> and some balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. That again, you're gonna just put it in a Ziploc bag, let right. it marinate overnight if you have time, but mm -hmm. if not, give that one more like two hours okay. and you're gonna grill that up. Beautiful. And then next we have, which is just a simple chicken cutlet that's standard mm -hmm. in all Italian households. Of course. And that's, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and you can either. Standard in non Italian <laughs> households too. Yeah. Oh, very nice. I love that. Absolutely. <laughs> so with this one, you're just going to get some eggs. You're going to kind of whip those mm -hmm. up. Okay. And you're going to use Italian style breadcrumbs. I like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there just for yes. something a little bit Absolutely. extra. Yeah, no, no, that's Yes, good. you can't go wrong with cheese no. ever. Or and so you're you're going to dip it in the egg mm -hmm. and then you're going to dip it in the breadcrumbs and cool. then you can either fry it in a frying pan some olive oil or you can bake it. Okay. Everybody has a preference. Beautiful. And so to go along with this chicken we have some toppings that you can use just to change it up mm -hmm. once in a while. So the first one we're going to start with is an avocado lime. Avocado, yeah. I know, yes. everybody's in love with avocado. <laughs> avocado. Food. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. And then I have some Kalamata olives mm. here and some queso fresco, which All is right. kind of yeah. like a saltier Mexican cheese, which we really love, and some cilantro. So okay, good. If you'd like to take the task Absolutely. of cutting I'm up ready this, to avocado. Dig into this avocado. Can yes. you handle it? No Absolutely. pressure. I'm going to try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the pressure's on. Oh, wow. You're lucky I didn't make you take out the pit. You know, that's, that's the no, tricky part. No, no pits yeah. for me. All right, beautiful. Awesome. So how did you get started in doing this? Well, I actually started my cooking blog when I was in grad school. And it was just a journal for me to be able to pass on to friends when they ask me, oh, where, how did you make that? Or family, how did you make that? I say, oh, just go up on the website that I have. You're going to add some Beautiful. cilantro in, Absolutely. go for it. I'm going to add in some of the cheese. So that's how it started. And then people kind of just started logging on and it's just started growing Waiting more and more. Recipe. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Beautiful. And we're going to add the Kalamata olives in. Would you All like to right. Yeah, yeah, let's me? do that. Right. Absolutely. Awesome. So tell me, Dina, what, what inspired you to do this? Well, I think food has always been a major part of our life mm -hmm. in our household. Absolutely. I mean, being an Italian family, Sunday dinner is a major, major event that right. we have. And um, <laughs> so yes, right. <laughs> and dinners at five thirty every night. So between my mom mm -hmm. cooking all the time, and then my dad having a serious obsession, which you might have seen right. on yeah. the show, <laughs> he had a serious obsession with food. Mm -hmm. um, so and I was always the one doing those ride-alongs with him to different right. restaurants mm -hmm. or whatever new bakery he found. So Absolutely. always on my mind. And here we are. Here we are. So, so. the next one we have mm -hmm. is um, a bruschetta topping for oh, our balsamic chicken. Oh, cool. And in here we have some halved cherry tomatoes. It's mm -hmm. nice when you get the yellow and the red ones. It's mm -hmm. pretty. And you can add in there a little bit of red onion. Yes. Okay. Give it a Do little Do you kick. have a, a favorite food to cook? That is always one of the hardest questions for me. <laughs> I like so many things. But okay. um, then I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese here. Okay. All right. I'm going to go in. Great. Um, I would say macaroni and meatballs, though. Gotta love macaroni. <laughs> that sounds like Tinder. something my kids would eat. Now yeah. we're talking. Absolutely. Right? Okay, and this is what goes on top of the balsamic chicken that we have over there. Beautiful. And you can also bake the balsamic chicken with this topping on if you mm -hmm. want to see the cherry tomatoes kind of burst open and melt into that chicken a little bit. And oh. last but not least, simple, yes. simple, Shake. chicken sim milanese. Shake. Give me that little shake and we'll get into it. Put a little dressing on that one. And this is just okay. a vinaigrette that we have, a balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, 
Just pour it on. Just pour it on. Just pour it on. Have fun with it. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. All right. That looks delicious. <laughs> and looks that really has um, some Dijon mustard, uh -huh. some honey, and salt, pepper, a little bit of onion powder, balsamic. Shake that up. Keep mm -hmm. that in your refrigerator okay. for whenever you need to use it. Well, Dina, it works. thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming sure, over. Sure, great. You thank know, you for yeah. having just, me. Um, I want to make sure that you tell our viewers where they can get more information on, on your website sure. or anything else. You can visit my blog. It's mm -hmm. dishitgirl.com. Mm -hmm. And that you can find all of our recipes, mm -hmm. um, all of my blog information. If you need to contact me or if you want to send me a recipe, Absolutely. all that's right there for you. Right, get beautiful. this recipe on. That pop? Is that you up there? Certainly can. <laughs> all three of okay. these are there. Good. Well, thanks again to all of my guests, and a special thank you to my co-host Sonia Satra <laughs> for being here, and thanks to all of you at home for watching. And make sure you tune in next time for another great show. And remember, take care of your body today, and it will take care of you tomorrow. See you next time.